Hello students welcome to geography class of 9th standard as we are doing natural regions of the world lesson number 18 today we are going to start with mediterranean region which is given on page number 152 to 154 page of your geography book the objective of the day are to discuss about the location and area climatic condition natural vegetation and human adaptation of mediterranean region Let's start the topic with a little introduction. The Mediterranean type of climate is experienced in the region lying between 30 degree north and 40 degree north as well as 30 degree south and 40 degree south latitudes on the western margins of the continents. The region is known as Mediterranean region because the countries located around the Mediterranean Sea have this type of climate. For example, the countries of southern europe western asia and northern africa in europe southern portugal spain southern france italy romania bulgaria greece and yugoslavia in asia continent coastal turkey syria lebanon and israel in africa coastal areas of algeria morocco tunisia and libya cape town of south africa in north america coastal california in usa and south america central chile australia south western australia around perth murray darling basin in southern australia around adelaide let's start with the book reading students take out your page number 152 of your geography book mediterranean region location and area The Mediterranean region lies on the western margins of the continents lying between 30 degree and 40 degree latitudes in both the hemispheres. Most of this region is located around the Mediterranean Sea. It is also found in the central California, USA, central Chile, South America, around Cape Town, South Africa, southwestern Australia, southern part of Murray Darling Basin, Australia, and the North Island of New Zealand. Next point is climatic condition. If you are talking about temperature, the Mediterranean type of climate has hot dry summers and mild wet winters. The summers are hot with abundance of sunshine. The mean summer temperature is about 25 degrees Celsius. The relative humidity is low in summers. Thus, summers are never uncomfortable. The coastal areas are cooler than the interiors. due to the influence of cool ocean currents clear sky encourages rapid radiation from the surface at night so nights are cool in summer season this region is influenced by the trade winds in summer trade winds blow from land thus do not bring rainfall in summer winters are cool the mean winter temperature is around 16 degrees celsius These areas lies in the transitional belt of the trade winds and the westerlies. And if you are talking about rainfall, due to the shifting of pressure belts, this region comes under the influence of wet westerlies which blows from sea to land in winter. Thus, onshore wet westerlies bring rain to this region in winter only. The westerlies are also associated with the temperate cyclones which travels from west to east. The rainfall is moderate and unreliable in these regions. The amount of annual rainfall varies from west coast about 55 cm as it goes on decreasing to about 35 cm in the east. It is because of the fact that general direction of westerlies is from west to east. Maximum amount of rainfall is received on the hilly ranges adjoining the coast. where onshore winds are forced to ascend come back to the book reading page number 153 climatic conditions the climatic conditions have three characteristics abundant sunshine throughout the year warm and hot summer and mild winter wet winter and dry summer season this region comes under the influence of the trade winds during the summer season and the westerlies during the winter season The average temperature during the cool winter season ranges between 5 degrees Celsius and 10 degrees Celsius. 
whereas the mean summer temperature varies from 20 degrees celsius to 30 degrees celsius winds during the summer season are hot and dry while the winter season is associated with the temperate cyclones along the coast the land and sea breezes are very prominent thunderstorms are not experienced in this region the mean annual rainfall ranges between 35 cm and 65 cm most of it occurs during winter season and received from the cyclonic storms associated with the humid westerlies the relief rainfall is common in the coastal areas summer season is characterized by scanty rainfall dry weather clear skies and enough sunshine the mediterranean type of climate is considered as a resort climate due to its pleasant and comfortable winter season next point is natural vegetation the natural vegetation of this region is of the evergreen type as there is no regular season of shedding their leaves there is a great contrast between the climate of summer and winter season the summers have prolonged dry conditions thus the natural vegetation is adapted in different ways to withstand the prolonged hot and dry summers the drought resistant plants are xerophytic plants which are mainly in the form of shrubs scrubs draft trees grass etc they are short stunted and widely spaced the plants have long roots to tap moisture from subsoil the leaves are small thick and leathery coated with wax so they have less surface area to reduce the loss of moisture by transpiration the waxy leaves preserve moisture for example the olive it is the typical tree of this region some trees have thick bark and bottle shaped trunks to store water in order to survive in the dry season for example coco its outer bark is over 2.5 cm thick It is mainly found in Spain and Portugal. Students, the climatic conditions of Mediterranean regions are not favorable for the growth of grass because grass cannot survive in long summers, drought, and in low winter temperature. Grasses do not have long root system to tap water from subsoil. So, sheep and goats depend on short bushes and scrubs. much of the original forest vegetation was cleared in order to get land for agriculture forest can be seen on the higher slopes exposed to rain bearing winds come back to the reading page number 153 natural vegetation the natural vegetation has to depend on the moisture accumulated during the winter months and it can withstand the aridity of the summer season forest are found in the wetter parts and along the higher altitudes the main trees are oak olive mulberry and some types of pines cedars and chestnuts the bushes and shrubs are thorny with the deep roots thick barks large number of thorns and thicky hairy leaves fire both natural and man made is normally an annual occurrence in this region burning and mass clearance of the natural vegetation for agriculture and commercial purposes has led to large scale soil erosion next point is human response the mediterranean regions have pleasant climate the mediterranean lands of europe have been cradles of ancient civilization namely those of roman and greece the roman and the greek civilization flourished in the past The countries around the Mediterranean Sea are thickly populated especially the lowlands coastal plains and valleys the long growing seasons various relief features soil areas receiving different amount of rainfall have encouraged agriculture activities these regions have bright sunny days with a pleasant climate some of the world's best holidays resorts are found here mediterranean regions are called the world's orchid lands Nearly 70% of the world's exports of citrus fruits which are juicy and are rich in vitamin C that is orange lemon lime and grapefruit are produced in this regions other important fruits are peach pears plums apricots cherries etc 
Olive oil is used in place of butter and cooking oil in the diet. Intensive agriculture is practiced with the help of irrigation. Rice, sweet potatoes, maize, flowers, vegetables are grown in this region. Come back to the reading again. Human adaptation. The crops are able to complete their vegetative growth during the cool wet season and can be harvested before dry summer season. The main crops are wheat, olives, wine, citrus, fruits, oats, barley, maize, tobacco, vegetables and flowers. Wheat is good quality due to sunny weather. Olive is a slow ripening oily fruit is grown on a commercial scale. Wine is a deciduous climbing shrubs grows here widely. The absence of frost encourages the production of delicate citrus fruits like raw oranges, lemons, and limes. There are many other fruit bearing trees like peaches, apricots, figs, etc. The dry summer conditions are useful for the drying of fruits. Fruits also provide raw material for manufacturing of soaps, wine, silk, etc. The leaves of mulberry trees are used for feeding the silk worms. For the summer crops, irrigation is necessary. Summer rains in some parts also favor the production of rice in northern Italy and Spain. So students, this is all about Mediterranean region. Hope you understand well. You have to solve related back exercise. We will meet very soon with the next region. Till then, have a nice day.